the warmest of welcomes to you. We await the conclusion of the pre-game formalities. I'm Peter Drury, and joining me here, our expert, Jim Beglin. Well, thanks for that, Peter. I'm uh, more than ready to get going here. from here Lustig it's got through it's loose who's getting there he's delivered all right No fluke, it's what he was there for. Well, for me, that's just pure predatory brilliance. It's not so much the finish, but the way he read the situation when nobody else was even alert to it. It's fantastic. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. We know they're in control now, but they can't let their concentration drop, not one bit. Plays it out to the wing. So what now? The shot's on! Sticks it away! Hot knife through butter, they have done it again! Oh, that was a close call, but for me, he timed his run to absolute perfection there to stay just onside. And he's still a lot to do, you know, but I think he's tucked that away really well. This contest was still nicely poised, but now that it's gone to two, mindsets are affected a lot more. Winning belief one way and that losing feeling the other. Looks to slip it through. Chance! Managed to get it away. That's a half-decent try. Oh, listen, I think you can understand at times that the pace of the game pressures players into split-second decisions, and sometimes they just make the wrong one, and I think he would have been better placing that. certain that won't get through 
Phillips has got rid of that. This needed to be better than that, and he knows it. Takes it over to the other flank. Tries a through ball. Oh, and they really should have been made to pay. Oh, that's great stuff. Exactly what he's all about. Yeah, he's definitely a player who looks like he could make something happen every time he's on the ball. He's just full of belief and energy. Passes it through. And the keeper turns it behind. He's got away with one there. With his head, but couldn't steer it in. Well, the defender was stuck to him like glue, but he got his effort away. It wasn't quite enough, though. Boots it upfield. <laughs> Tries to get it forward quickly. Johansson. There is the half-time whistle. It has been a remarkable contest, decorated by goals and two between them at half-time. That gets things going for the second half. Lustig, who's going to make this theirs? Can he find a finish now? <laughs> Looks like a good ball through. A oh, great ball! Is it in? Yeah, that was tough for the keeper to handle. Has he found his man? No position to make that interception. And that's a throw. There is some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Or throw that, picked off with relative ease. Johansson. Lustig. Well, that's where he wants it. He's made sure that that won't get through. And the ball's come loose and the chase is on. That's offside. Yes, it is. A change here. There's a man waiting to come on. Well, it was the early through ball that almost caught everyone out in that instance, all but for our flag waving assistant referee. Another piece of really good defending. Needless to say, he was expecting a better ball than that. That's surely a foul free kick. It's a good run down the right. Where could this lead? Lustig. Played into the middle. That's official showing that there will be three minutes of added time. Now the cross. Has 
a hit! In he goes again! What about it? Drama at the death! Is there time for one more twist? Uh, he was never going to miss from there. Our players like this fella almost have a sixth sense to get themselves in such great poaching positions. How quick-minded was that? We have got ourselves a game here. The referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. Well, whatever the shortcomings on either side, it was a great game to watch, just one between them. How would you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim? Oh, listen, if you've got that kind of power and, and that kind of pace in your team, I think you'll plough through most teams. Those central areas tend to be very congested, lots of traffic going on, but it wasn't a problem for them. That's it for tonight's match, so it just remains for me to thank Jim Beglin alongside me and to wish you all a very good evening.